We're on our way to the airport. We're gonna go visit Nate and Karina on the set of Roswell, the new show filming for the CW. But we need to make one stop first because I heard they're very homesick, so we need to bring something from... Yeah, always stop at the sign of the sheriff, this right, Ariel? Like not yeah, stop, see, this cop sits there. He's at Eagle Eye, so Eagle Eye. I heard they're very homesick, so we need to make one stop before we go to the airport to pack something away in our bag that I, that I think they're gonna really, really enjoy and have really missed about Texas. What do you guys think is the surprise that we're bringing them from Texas? I'm super curious. Put it in the comments below. You're gonna see it by the time he's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be a YouTuber. A full brisket from Terry Black's Barbecue, the best brisket in the land. This is frozen, it takes a day to defrost. This was made yesterday. It'll be good for an entire Definitely year. It smells smoky. It smells, it smells crazy. So we're just gonna wrap this up. Wrap it up a lot. It's wrap like it up our a lot. So our clothes don't smell like Put it underneath it. So we made it to the airport with the brisket in tow. Fun fact, a large brisket inside of a bag looks exactly like a large bundle of cocaine inside a bag. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> we had a good laugh with the, with the airport security. Onward now to New Mexico. Well, we made it. Have you noticed that this airport is called a sunport, not an airport? I noticed it's sunny in here. Is that, or is there something to that? I don't know. It smells like when you're a kid and you go to Florida and like smells like Florida when you come from like Midwest, smells like you're on vacation. It just smells like old people here. Maybe that's the smell of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I completely was walking out of the airport without it. When did that happen last time? Outside on the rental car curb. No, that was the other time. There was a time in between that. What's the time you're talking about? Where you left it at security. <laughs> Done this now three oh, times. Oh yeah. That they thought that was like a security risk. They're so minimalistic that you forget you have them. Ariel, yeah, I like your mobile office. The package has made it to New Mexico. Terry Black's barbecue, fresh from Austin, Texas, in New Mexico. Now we got to go to set because they have a table read. We can't be late. We've been yelled at already. So we're right around the corner from seeing Nate. We're freshening up. Oh, fuck. I just broke my toothbrush. Travel light, they said. This is not our trip. This this is just not our day when it comes to plastic products. I've broken my sunglasses. Maybe you shouldn't order your sunglasses off of the Amazon. It's like, damn it. Fuck. <laughs> All right. I was just thinking about how cool I look in these. Damn it, I, this is so bad. Now, I have to... Mm. It is 7.30 p.m. We have been here for a while. Unfortunately, all we can really show you is this is where this is the offices where they're making the show. Unfortunately, the show is, is being filmed in like a field over there and it's amazing. We'll try to show you what we can. We can definitely show you people when they're not on set though. But isn't this cool? Every, all of this is where all the magic happens. This place is absolutely incredible, next level. Look at this. This is like absolutely insane. I don't even know if you can tell the color of the sky right now. We're gonna go try to find a place to get some real world work done while they finish up. But sorry we can't show anything, but we got yelled at earlier when we tried to film. <laughs> Ariel got yelled at when she tried to film. <laughs> <laughs> at Nate's house, he's still on set, um, so he's still filming, and we were like, okay, we just got to this house, it's badass, we're gonna do a quick little home tour of it. He has no um, idea. He has no idea. Sorry, Nate, but it's really cute. <laughs> Day one 
in Roswell. Roswell. <laughs> and it's been really cool so we're far. We're gonna go to sleep, but Nate will be home soon, and tomorrow's another day of shooting. This was a stars tour of their home. Well, we're going to explore some of Albuquerque. We are in Santa Fe. I'm sorry, Santa Fe, <laughs> New Mexico. Different city. Uh, we definitely didn't realize we're definitely in a ski town. It's super high up and we're both super altitude sick. So we have really bad headaches. We just took a little nap, but we're going to Caroline's Christmas Village now. No, Susan's. Susan's Christmas. Susan's Christmas <laughs> Village. I actually didn't even matter. This whole town is based on Christmas. They call the Enchiladas Christmas and they have like a thousand Christmas stores and it just feels like all around Christmas. But how gorgeous are these houses? We gotta really come visit. It. I we definitely gotta come wanna visit come. the kids again. I'm kind of thinking we should come back for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Look at this door. Look the door would make like a perfect picture, like a perfect long ways, like vlog. Tell us about Santa Fe. It's very cute, lots of art, cool buildings, crazy old people. Old people everywhere. Santa Fe is Disney World for old people. But you know what I have to say about Santa Fe, Ariel? Hmm. It's quiet. The quiet. There's like silence everywhere. It's great. Bye puppy, number one. Bye puppy, number two. See you later. Ariel and I are finally, finally, after two or three days, going to hike. Look who it is. Yeah. Man of the hour. What's He's up? not coming to hike with us. Sadly. And where are we? The flea market. <laughs> not any flea market. The Buffalo Thunder Flea Market. Impressions so far. Bizarre. Bizarre with two A's or bizarre with an I? Bizarre with an I. Because it is a bazaar with two A's. Ariel, where did you take us? <laughs> we had to check it out. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> okay, so I insisted that Chris drive like 30 minutes out of town to take me to some really cool flea market. Well, it ended up being a little dilapidated, pretty much 100% inauthentic, I'm pretty sure. I think I could hear them screaming no at me while I was videoing. Yeah, it was it was kind of bad. I was though videoing just to get this. I almost fell for buying a mud Obscenely gaudy picture of this woman's tent which is I'll that put what in. you were taking a picture of? yeah because it was oh like my God. it was like it was like Rhonda's it was like Rhonda's turquoise shop or something and she had and she had this picture of her that was like looked like she was just absolutely insane crazy and then she was standing right next to it so I was like back and forth back and forth and she was standing there going no no <laughs> no I did not know she was saying no to you. Yeah, she said no, no, and then she was like, I love it when they take pictures and don't pay you. You need to visit her store. Yeah, I have to introduce everyone to the vlog in case they end up on camera. They have to have background story. So this is Ariel. She's not on any TV shows. They're not in charge of anything. This is Karina. She Karina runs the show and is in charge of everything. So hi, Karina. And she's I like in charge of everything. She's actually and nice. And Nate, he's not in charge of anything, but he's on the show. He's Wait, he's not in charge of... Say that one more time. <laughs> he's not What's he in charge of? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. His role is like gas zero. station attendant. No he's one trusts me. <laughs> Nathan does the lighting. Yes. <laughs> that's true. Key that's grip, true. right here. That's true. That's true. Different? I mean, there's different vendors, and there's more food, and there's music. And We've eaten the Mexican food. Now we're going in search of a soba pia. Can I like my spurs? No. 
will have the birthday theme. It's actually. It's delightful. It is a caramel martini. Brandon yeah. McKenzie, yeah. show writer. It's like more beer than anything. Right? Right? Now I want the beer. <laughs> We're basically just like lame children. Oh, whatever. Wait, so that's Ariel <laughs> in the morning. Oh, look, it's a fox and this with is a tiny Karina fox. all the time. It's this just is wearing a bathrobe saying, excuse me. It is wearing a cape. <laughs> it's a bathrobe. <laughs> Say, excuse me, may I help you? <laughs> But y'all, we were up till four in the morning with these yeah, celebs, these, man. These, these actors party hard, man. They party so hard. But luckily, we no one really got like hammered. It was so fun. It was just like we everybody hung celebrate. out until four p.m. trying for four a.m. trying to make a marathon because it was someone's birthday and we had to wait until they were done filming at two a.m. to get the picture. But we had a theme party with spirit animals. It was awesome. I'll put a picture right here because you can't because you can't tell anyone. Well, it was a shark for most of the time. Because I swim, don't sink. What was yours? That's what you came up with? Yeah, man. That's awesome. Um, I was a lion, because my name means lioness of God. The other thing is really nice about people that are filming these TV shows is they're not living for the weekend, right? Like they have a week that's so long, but it's like what they live for is like being on set and doing what they love, yeah. you know? So it's not like they're waiting for Saturday and Sunday. If anything, they're waiting for Monday to have the next shoot day. It's yeah. so refreshing it's to be really around cool people like that that just love working, you know? Really love like inspires as much me. As we do. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, so they don't like get mad at us for working seven hours, eight hours a day on vacation. The kids are gonna be filming here through like January, so we're gonna come back and go skiing with them because there's a bunch of ski resorts up that way that I think will be really fun. They were talking about renting a house all together, going up on the weekends. That could be a really good time. It sounds awesome. I'm really excited about winter time. I feel like it's gonna be so pretty here. It'd be so cool to see snow on the ground of this place. Yeah, and like Christmas lights. So the weather's so nice, but it's just the middle of summer and the weather's so nice. I can imagine it would look so beautiful with snow everywhere. And yeah, they have a weird obsession with Christmas here. Yeah. Even the enchiladas are called Christmas. Off to the airport.